Hi, welcome back. It's that time again for your eye exam, your quarterly eye exam. There's times where I'm going to get close to you like this, and I'm just going to feel around your face, looking at your eyes both up and down below, and side to side. I'm going to be putting lights in your face on both eyes. I'm going to be covering one eye at a time, checking your depth perception. Is that all right? Good. I also have an eye exam chart that I'm going to get you to look at. I'm going to get you to tell me the numbers and the letters that I point to. Excellent. And then I'm going to be putting some water drops into your eyes, and I'm going to blow into the eyes. And I want to make sure that your peripheral visions work when I blow into them with the solution in them from side to side. Okay, how does that sound? Great. So the first thing I'm going to start with is just covering each eye with my tools. Are you ready? Good. A like means you're ready. Perfect. All right. I'm going to come in and cover your left eye. I'm now covering your left eye. Can you still see me? Excellent. I'm going to come into your right eye now. Can you still see me with your right eye covered? Good. I'm going to cover both of your eyes, and I'd like you to tell me whether or not you can see me in any of your peripheral visions around the tools, okay? All right, I'm coming into your eyes now. Can you see me at all? No, okay. And can you see me again? Great. I'm going to put the tool up to your eye, one eye, and you let me know if you can see me through the holes, okay? Can you still see me? Good. We'll cover the other eye. Same procedure. Can you still see me? Good. You weren't supposed to see me completely. It was more very subtly. It was just to make sure that when your eyes are completely covered in the dark, that you can still see. It's all about eating those carrots, right? Good. Now I'm just going to clean off your eye here a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to hold your shoulders there so you don't shake as much. Good. Now, I'm going to come into your eyes with some pen lights, okay? Good. I'm going to come from either side, shining the light into each retina, looking at your pupils and seeing if they dilate or if they do not dilate, okay? Good. I'm going to be coming in on the right now. Sorry. I'm going to come into your eye on the left. Here we go. Just hold your eyes open as best as you can. Good. I'm going to come to your right eye now. Good. I'm going to come in both your eyes now. And here we go. Good, your eyes are perfect. Your pupils react and dilate dependent on the light source going into those pupils. I'm just gonna come a little closer to you now and I'm gonna look inside the back of your eye. I'm gonna shine the light above your eye, below your eye, and then side to side, getting you to look either way, okay? Good, can I get you to look up for me, please? Good. Can you look down? Excellent. Can I have you look to the left? Good. And then look to the right. Good. I'm going to come into your right eye now, and I'm going to do the same procedure. I'd like for you to look up. Good. And then looking down. Great. Looking to the left. And then looking to the right. Excellent. I'm just going to have a look behind your head, make sure there's no lumps or bumps. 
that's good. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Sometimes concussions or something can affect the way you see. I didn't notice anything on the back side of your head. Have you hit your head at all recently? No, good. All right. So, just clean off your face again. Let's hold you still. Okay. Now that we've done that portion, I'm just going to get you to follow my fingers. I'm going to do an array of sequences. I'd just like you to follow along the best that you can, okay? So for now, just follow my finger. Follow the finger, please. Every direction that, that it goes, I'd like you just to follow that direction. Is this hard at all? To follow my fingers in the directions that they're going. Was that hard at all? No, okay. I'm gonna make it a little harder now. And I'm gonna get you to follow both fingers, okay? Okay, follow both fingers. Made you go cross-eyed. I do that to all my patients. Okay, just follow both fingers, please. You're using your peripheral vision here to follow both fingers at the same time. I'm just watching how your fingers, sorry, I'm watching how your eyes react when I move in sequence together or if I go perpendicular or opposite to each other. Good. Was that hard? No? Good. It shouldn't be. But if it was, I'd like you to be honest. This is an eye exam, remember. Good. I'm just going to have you touch your finger and then touch, sorry, I'm going to have me touch your nose and then touch my nose. And I'd like for you to just follow along when I come into your nose and then when I come onto my nose, okay? Okay. And... Is this hard at all to follow my finger when I come on your nose and then I come onto my nose? Was that hard at all to follow? No? Good. All right, now we're gonna check your depth perception, okay? I'm gonna come closer to you and farther from you at specific times. You let me know when I'm clear, when I'm close to you, and when I'm farther away from you, if I'm clear or fuzzy, okay? Excellent. Now I'm gonna come close to you now, okay? All right, so I'm coming close. Am I still in focus to you? Good. As I come farther back, am I still in focus to you? Excellent. Was that hard at all for your eyes to focus? I noticed you were squinting just a little bit when I backed up. No? Okay. Maybe it was just the sunlight in your eyes behind the window. I know. It can get a little bright in this room at times. That's why I try and keep the black wall here to dim it so that your eyes have less focusing to do and more of an opportunity for me to see them when they're just at their normal. They're not having to regulate based on the circumstances around them. Okay, I'm gonna bring up my tool again and I'm gonna cover an eye and I'd like for you to tell me if I'm clear or fuzzy when I cover each eye. Am I clear or fuzzy? Good. Am I clear or fuzzy? Good. I was fuzzy there. Okay, and that was on your right eye, okay? I'll remember that. Potentially maybe a stigmatism, maybe in your right eye. Good, now I'm gonna cover both eyes at once. When I cover both eyes, I'm gonna remove the tools very quickly. When I do that, I'm looking at your dilation of your pupils. I'm seeing how they react. Okay, gonna come in to your eyes now. Good, again. And one more time. Great. No problems there. 
Not that I noticed, at least. Great. I'm just going to measure the distance now between your left and your right eye where they finish, okay? Just stay still for me for one second here. Okay. You let me know when this is clear. Good. Okay. I'm just going to measure the distance. Just hold super still for me, okay? Excellent. Your eyes are perfectly symmetrical with the center bridge of your nose. Great. Now I'm going to move on to the final part of the exam. I'm going to go through the eye test with the eye chart. I'm going to have my flashlight like so. I'm going to be shining it onto portions of the chart. And I'd like for you just to read out loud what letter or number I have the chart on. How does that sound? Good. All right. I've got my chart here. I'm going to shine on the very top one, just as an example to start. Please tell me, what am I shining it on? Great. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to shine it on the piece. And then I'd like for you to say what it is, okay? If you have any troubles with seeing the specific number or letter, please let me know. Let's begin. How are we doing so far? Are you able to keep up while I'm going through it? Good. I'm going to go down to the lower numbers and letters now, okay? By lower, I mean smaller. It's going to be a little bit harder. That is the purpose of this exam, is to figure out where does it become too hard that you cannot see the numbers or letters, okay? All right. Let's begin again. Can you still see while I'm doing that? Good. Now I'm going to go down to the very bottom row. I'd like, and I'm going to back up. Yes. I'm going to test how far can you see once I do that, okay? So here we are. Now I'm going to shine it, and I'd like for you to tell me on the bottom row from left to right, okay? Okay. First letter. Could you read any of those? Don't worry. Be honest. Good. You weren't supposed to be able to read them. This was just to see if you were lying to me or not during the entire test. You should be able to see at that distance. This row. Right here. If you can see this row right here, then you have 20-20 vision. So, with that being said, Let's just clean off your eye really quickly here. I don't need to do the water droplets today. If you had had to, any issues with the higher rows or numbers, then at that point, I would have needed to use the droplets. Great. I'm just gonna have one more look at that eye on the right side that was giving you a little bit of astigmatism potentially. It was a little blurry, I remember you saying. Just look up again for me, please. Okay. To the side. Excellent. Thank you. And down. Looking down. Thank you. Good. Good. Any problems with your nostrils by chance? It's like not flaring, but uh, stuffiness. Do you notice any baggage under your eyes? When you wake up, can you see properly, or is it quite fuzzy, especially in that right eye? It's not? Okay, 
Was it maybe just a one-off today? I didn't see anything when I double-checked in that eye, so I'm going to say that you're totally fine today and that your vision is 2020. Again, we'll be coming back for that checkup quarterly every three, four, sorry, every three months quarterly, correct? And we'll assess your eyesight again. It's good to be thorough each and every time as you need your eyes for the rest of your life. Margaret, we'll see you at the door like always, free of charge. You're my favorite client, so of course, I'm never going to charge you. Again, pleasure to see you. Margaret will be at the front door. I'm going to go to my next patient. Take care. Bye-bye.